hi everyone so in this video i just want to explain the basics of accounting uh, when it comes to debit and credit so after this video you are going to understand and have a clear picture on how accounting equation general ledger ledger account and all those uh, balance sheet and income statement how they work okay now let's start with the issue debit and credit okay so as you know that always when you are preparing your ledger account your debit side is always on your left and credit side is always on your right side okay how does this two account work it's very simple guys the first step that i'm advising you to start with is to understand the words assets and also understand the word equity and also understand the word liability the reason why i want us to start here is because this account when it comes to debit and credit they are not the same simple means that you must first understand how are you going to treat your assets how are you going to treat your equity and liability as well all right remember the principle says that our assets is equal to owner's equity plus liability all right let's start with an asset all right when we talk about an asset of course we are talking about an item that owned by a company or a business for example a company can own a vehicle a company can own something like a bank a company can own a debtors if someone purchase on credit to us which means that that person owe us which means that is in our asset okay we have different kind of assets that you can identify there are so many so you have to make sure that you go through other examples of assets so that you will know uh, this is an asset okay so when it comes to equity number one we have a capital capital of course is the money that the owner contributed to start a what a business okay we also have retained income okay so i want to explain retained income into detail when we talk about retained income this is our remaining profit that we retain so that at least remember when we get a profit from income statement let's say for example we get a profit of hundred thousand and we decided to give the owner eight thousand and we remain with twenty thousand that twenty thousand that we remain with we call it retained income so under retained income guys everything that fall under income statement you are going to include it here this include all income and all expenses simple as that so you have to know that once you face an income and expense you have to use equity account okay liability we can have something like a loan or payables okay you also have to go and check other examples that fall under a liability okay now let's go back to the rule that we are dealing with now a debit and credit okay let's start in this way in assets when we come to this principle of debit and credit always assets increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side okay it's an asset this is a debit side this is a credit side then we have equity on the debit side and credit side is opposite with an asset okay then liability is the same as equity okay on the debit side we're gonna have minus and on the credit side we're gonna have a plus so this debit and credit rule 
doesn't apply the same way with assets and equity and liability. So you have to know that. Now let's go to example on how I'm going to apply these rules. Very simple. Let's do example when we are preparing a accounting equation, for example. Okay, let's say that a company purchase an item on credit. Let's say a company purchase equipment on credit by 500. What are we going to do in that case? Firstly, you must identify two components from that transaction. Number one, you have to ask yourself, what did the company purchase? Equipment, okay, is the first component. The company purchased equipment. And the second one, we have to identify how does the company purchase that equipment? Is it cash or credit? If it's cash, you know that it's a bank. But if it's credit, you have to know that it's payable. We still have to pay someone. Okay? In this case, it's payable. Okay? Ahmad will say it's 500. So now we have to apply this principle of debit and credit. It's going to be very simple now because we identify our two items. Now, we know that equipment is an asset, which means that this account is going to be affected. Okay? Let's go to assets. Now the question, the following question that you must you must ask yourself is that this equipment is it going out or going inside the business? Of course, if it's going inside, it will mean that our asset is going to increase. In this case, we purchase. Obviously, means that our five hundred is going to be on the plus side. Okay. Now let's come to payables. Payables. Is liability okay which means that we have to use this account this account of liability which means that we are going to say 500 this side which is going to be a plus okay this is a debit and credit debit and credit so this rule if you are preparing a ledger account this is what you are going to do very simple when it comes to assets equipment you are going to write a payables and this side you are going to write equipment you just have to swap what a word under um, a, a payables you write equipment under equipment you write payables they swap a name very very simple now let's go to principle of accounting equation Every time when you deal with one transaction, you have to make sure that that transaction follow the rule. If the transaction follow this rule and you are preparing a balance sheet on the other side with the same information, your balance sheet is going to balance very correctly in a very simple step, guys. Okay, now let's check using this example. Our assets is 500. Is plus 500. Is it equal to? Did we find any owner's equity in this transaction? No, which means that it was to zero plus 500 of payable, which means that it's plus 500. Is it correct? 500 is equals to, of course, this side is going to give us zero plus 500, it's going to give us 500. 500. So, which means that our balance sheet is going to do what? To balance. So, you have to make sure that each and every time when you do a transaction is applicable to this uh, equation. If you do that, you are going to get everything very correct. So, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, this is very important a uh, principle when you are preparing accounting books. So if you are doing accounting, please make sure that you like this video and subscribe because I'm going to upload more and more videos every time that is going to assist you to deal with accounting transaction. I hope I'm going to see you on the next video.